a young Jamaican female politician is in emotional pain, so she went on radio and bared her soul. Rhoda Moy Crawford, the Member of Parliament for Central Manchester, appeared on Nationwide Radio alongside host Cliff Hughes. She went to discuss a drainage issue in her constituency, which is creating flooding in a large town. However, she ended up discussing rumors on social media and elsewhere about a relationship with Prime Minister Andrew Holness, the head of the Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, of which Crawford is a member. Rhoda Crawford has been a beacon of hope and progress for central Manchester. Her dedication and hard work are evident in the strides she has made for her community as a first-time member of parliament. However, recent months have seen a surge in rumors and unjust criticism aimed at undermining her efforts. As there is now no evidence at this time to suggest otherwise, it is of utmost importance for her constituents and the leadership of the JLP to address these rumors and criticisms. Failing to do so could potentially set a dangerous precedent, hindering the progress of young, qualified women aspiring to enter politics. Here are excerpts of Crawford's interview with the head of Nationwide Radio in Kingston, Jamaica, Cliff Hughes. I have realized that sadly, our politics in recent months, it's taking a turn for the nasty. It's going down a very slippery road, which is very unfortunate, very heartbreaking, especially for us as young people who have entered the space and who have been working assiduously, working hard. We have been respecting persons. We have been respecting boundaries. And, and, and I know, and I've seen videos and comments, and I don't want a case because already I'm seeing some attacks on social media where, like I mentioned earlier, that I'm accused of not having done the drain properly, or the NWA, the implementing agency, didn't do the drain properly. And I know we're heading into political silly season, and I do not want the mayor himself or any of his operatives to come about and to put any blame at my feet, because I have done what I am supposed to do, and I want him now to do what he's supposed to do. Ah. Uh. I can understand that because the social media blogger, bloggers from your side to Rhoda and the other side, they are not afraid to lie. I, I, I mean, I mean, they please, lie with such ease. Well, you know, please, I, that is one thing <laughs> I, I, I condemn and I condemn wholeheartedly. Whether it's been done by JLP bloggers or PNP bloggers, I mean, we, we should be focusing on the real issues. Talk about the issues. You, you can support and defend defend your, those who you support without lying, without smearing, without attacking. Mm -hmm. I mean, Chris, I would want a whole platform to come and share some of the attacks that, that, that I have had to, to endure and that I have been enduring. I see I mean, that. I wake up, I see some I wake of them. up and I see, I see, I see some, some wild accusations. You know, and, and you know, Cliff, I don't want to really get out there and say certain things now. But, you know, at the right time, I will share. But what I want to encourage other young people who are out there, still do not be deterred by the negativity and, negativity and what you see happening. Because it's good people with good intentions. Step aside in Jamaica is doomed. Cliff, it is because of my love for my people and my love for my country why I'm sticking this out and I'm fighting hard. I don't know if in recent time any un other young individual have come under the kinds of attacks that I have come under and why. I came in, young person from a poor family sold in the market with my mother to help to get a good education, have my master's degree, doing my PhD, which I've had to put on hold because of how immersed I am in this politics. I got out there. Every resource that I have gotten, I go out there and I spend it and spend it on the people. What When we don't get enough from CDF, I reach out to ministers, I reach out to private sector. And instead of applaud the effort of the young member of parliament and aspire to, to, to some of the members of parliament are, 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 and some of those in the political arena are guilty of it too. So instead of, instead of emulate then what is good, you have people that start off with a rumor, oh, how is Rhoda able to do so much work? She must be getting more money. 
and then now they keep adding to it. Oh, she must be involved with the prime minister. That's why she gets more money. These things are heartbreaking. You have families involved. You have people involved. The latest I see now, Cliff, on social media is that I got pregnant for prime minister and did an abortion. Those things are hurtful. Those things are sickening. And then you have others, you know, Cliff, that take it and they run with it and they put this out there and they don't have any consideration for how these things hurt people and their family. Just last night, I saw another situation with Minister Vaz where he made a statement about the temporary ban on the right sharing until, until we are able to put certain regulations in place. And I see a youngster responded to say this is expected coming from a sex offender. And, and I mean, I don't want to go further into it, but discussions have been had where the young man is very apologetic about what he did. And, and, and you know, we need to be careful and mindful. You are real people. And some people might wonder, you know, why, didn't, why haven't I gone the, the route of lawsuit yet? When I saw them emerging around the time of um, the local election, I contemplated it. I did seek some legal advice. But you know what I said to myself, Cliff? I said, you know, let, I will suffer. I, will, I, I am willing to suffer and push through this because I know that there's no truth to it. Because if I was to come out and, and, and do, put, put forward a lawsuit, in my mind, I'm saying, you know, it would move it from the gossip channels to mainstream media. And I didn't want that for it to become a distraction to hurt the rest of candidates and to hurt the party. Mm -hmm. So I suffered through it. I battled through it. Still suffering through it. Because my reputation has taken a hit for it. And why? Because I decide that I'm not sharing my personal life. I don't believe I should. I, I, I reserve the right as much as I'm a public citizen. I don't need to, to be sharing certain things on social media if I don't want to. I don't need to be, be sharing my personal life to say who I'm dating or if I'm in a relationship or if I have children of my own. And in the absence of that, you know, persons came out. You know, Cliff, you know where this rumor originated to. Back when President Kagame came here, I'm not afraid to say it. It's my story. I can tell it. I was battling with fibers and so my belly had a little bulge. And one parliamentarian from the other side made a laugh and said, look like Rhoda is pregnant. And that is where it, it, it just spiraled from there. What? It just spiraled from there. You know, and I've chosen to ignore and mm. just immerse myself in the work because the, the, while this is happening, the work of the people must go on. And I'm not going to allow any bullies mm. or anyone to weep me or to try to break my spirit. When I, if I could go to bed hungry, many nights when my mother didn't have anything to feed me and she had to tell me to lie down flat on your belly and go to your bed. And I go to school to do my exam with just my taxi fare. And I, I will live in this one bedroom with board and zinc. And I watch my mother um, fan a fire to make some porridge. And when we move to Tulsa Road and I'm in primary school, I see my mother lift up the market bag on her shoulders and go down to Santa Cruz and run in from the Metro Man. And even when our bl blood pressure is out there, they can't break me. They're never going to break me. These things are making me stronger. And I am going to work, work, work. Work, work, and mm. work some more. Because so you have been carrying a lot. Sales, you have been carrying a lot. It is a lot, Cliff. It is a lot. And I decide, you know, one day I'll tell some more of the story. But there are also other Cliff, I'm not afraid to say. They're threatened by the possibilities of how far I can reach in the politics and what I can achieve. Mm. And so they, they enjoy these attacks because people can't attack my work. They can't attack my integrity, right? My name is not being called up in anything else. So they figure, all right, what should we try and use? And it's very unfortunate, Cliff. If you talk to some more of the other young MPs who are females, they too, they too are, are dismayed by some of the negativities and the unfair attacks. But guess what, Cliff? If we give up now, if we turn in the towel, Jamaica is going to suffer for it. Because if persons have been fair and have been doing their assessment, the, this crop of young MPs and under the leadership of our Prime Minister and the hardworking ministers and state ministers that we have, we have been 
focusing on work. We have been focusing on economic advancement. If you notice, too, the PNP, they were out there for months and years, and they're just talking, talking, and saying all sorts of things. And we had been quiet. We weren't paying any attention to that. We were focused on the work, but we're now realizing that sometimes when you keep quiet and you say nothing, it is interpreted by some that it is, it is consent or that it is true when that is not necessarily the case. Yeah. A lot of us, we suffer in silence, and we have to get up and show up and put on our pretty clothes, and we out there bearing the burden of thousands, there are thousands of constituents in Manchester Central who are depending on me. So I can't break. I have to stay strong. If I buried my mother and didn't even get the time to mourn, my mother only has two of us. My little brother is in um, Northern Caribbean University, heading into his final year. And I had to bear, bear all of the burden of making sure she gets a good and decent send-off and to be looking after my little brother because his father doesn't have it. He's a truck driver, and so I have to be, be looking after him and keeping strong. Let and me ask you, let me ask you, Rhoda Moy, without my prompting, you have said a lot. You have said a lot, which seems to suggest to me that this has been building up inside yes. for quite a while. It, 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 not has, it has not been easy to carry this. And you know why it has not been easy? Because I came in this with good intentions. Grew up in the constituency. Grew up in poverty. I have a real authentic Jamaican story. A real authentic Jamaican mother. And I come to make a difference to really serve from the bottom of my heart. And when you see... People come out, people who don't even know you. And when, you know, they create stories and they try to do these things to break your spirit. I mean, Cliff, at the end of the day, you're lining up in a contest. For me, you, you, you line up, you want to win. Mm -hmm. but, but for me, if you lose, that's okay too. We shouldn't have to think we have to tear down others. We shouldn't have to try to destroy people in the process. And what, what, what some of these operatives of the PNP, what I see them doing, Cliff, it is almost as if when they're finished with you, mm -hmm. it's not only for you to lose the election, but it's as if it's a serious reputational damage that could possibly prevent you from getting work somewhere else when they do these things to you. Mm. You know, when I see Darrell Vaz, I don't know the story, I wasn't around. You know, but when I see what Darrell has had to go through and even know people who were not a part of Darrell's time or Darrell's generation, can be still today accusing Darrell or, or, or calling him a sex offender. Those things break my heart, um, Cliff. Hold on I for me. Hold on, hold on for me, um, Rhoda Moy Crawford. She <laughs> is venting, venting. Yes, she has taken on head on some of the vilest of rumors and smears we see on social media. Yeah, hold the line first, Miss Crawford. We are hearing from the Member of Parliament for Central Manchester, the JLP's Rhoda Moy Crawford, and she's been venting, bearing her soul about the attacks on her perpetrated in social media by some. She has been very frank, she has spoken about the rumors about her having a, an intimate relationship with the Prime Minister. Yes, she has categorically denied that this rumor that was also on social media, that she was pregnant for the Prime Minister and had an abortion that had started when she was having a female problem, well-known, fibroids, and was carrying a bump. And a member of parliament from the other side, she says, questioned or remarked to her. Rhoda Moy Crawford, let me ask you, I've been listening. You notice I've been listening to you. Yes? I want to ask you some questions now. Yeah. 
Yes. Have you ever felt like packing it in and walking away from this? I have. I have, and as a matter of fact, you know, I don't even know if I should say this, but, you know, my mother, even before she passed, because, you know, she died suddenly. She, yes. she, she wasn't ill. And at one point, she looked at me with tears in her eyes. And she said, my daughter, I am reading and seeing these comments. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not seeing them. What I want for you to do, or I would, but it ultimately it's your decision. I would want for you to finish your term, finish your term well, and get away from this nasty politics. That's what my mother told me. So I've been battling, you know, under my mother's dying wish, or, you know, fighting because, Cliff, maybe you should ask me a different way. What has caused me to not step away? Yeah. Well, well, there are so many opportunities. I have opportunities and offers left, right, and center. What has kept me, Cliff? What has caused me to not step away? Cliff, I lived in Manchester Central for 30 odd years, all my life, except from when I came out to, to, to enter into college and when I was working at Hearts and had to be at the head office and living in Kingston. Mm -hmm. Right? And I see the ills in the constituency. And when I look right across Jamaica, Cliff, a lot of the issues are, are not resolved, not because they couldn't have been, but we, because we have not always had political representatives at the very Let me level. also ask you, Ms. Crawford. Let me who, also ask you. Could I you. finish first? Sure. Who, who is committed to Jamaica? And I feel if I give up, I am sending a message to other young people, other young women especially, other people who have a passion for leadership and a passion for service and want to serve their country well. I think we're going to give in and allow persons who don't mean Jamaica well to step forward. And I see a lot of them trying to step forward now that I hope that to God that the people do not give that opportunity because by their utterances and their actions, they don't mean Jamaica well. So, so, so I have suffered the hit, and, and I feel as if I must continue because the, the politics, if we're really going to transform Jamaica, it needs people like me who are committed to service and, and just want to see Jamaica, Jamaica in a better place. I don't want Jamaica to become Haiti. Let me ask you, Ms. Crawford, these rumors and nasty comments and insinuations... How have they affected your relationship with your Prime Minister and Party leader, Andrew Holness? Well, well, what I, what I do notice, because the Prime Minister, he supports all of, all of, all of his, um, it's not just members of Parliament and ministers, but all of the standard bearers. And, I mean, the Prime Minister continues to extend himself and to give all of us support. So I wouldn't say... I, I still would say I still maintain a good relationship with our prime minister and party leader. But what I do notice at times, Cliff, and I don't, it doesn't matter to me if I'm going to be getting some, some beating for this when, when I hang up the phone. But I do realize that sometimes some of my own parliamentary colleagues, they, they treat me differently. They, they are some things that I feel I am denied of because of, of this rumor, or I think because uh, this issue, it doesn't just affect me or the prime minister. The, the wife of the prime minister sits in the parliament. She, she sits in the, the, the speaker's chair. And Cliff, I'm not afraid to tell you that there are some times that people who have very good relationship with me, they talk to me on the phone, they have hang out with me. Sometimes you can see it appears that they are torn, like they don't want to engage me because they don't know if the rumors are true themselves, probably don't know, are not sure, but they, they, don't, they don't want to be offensive. So I think some of them are caught in a, in, in a little limbo trying to, to, to be careful how they engage me when, when Mrs. Holness is there or so because I don't know. But mm -hmm. I, I sense that and I feel that. At times. Well, let me ask you, have you ever been involved in an intimate moment or relationship affair with the Prime Minister? No, Cliff Hughes. Categorically, no. I have never. These rumors started from the time that I was in G2K when 
I just came fresh from the scene and wanted to to to, to enter and to expand. And then it, so, it, some of them started to emerge around the the time of the leadership challenge. And then and then they died down. And then you know it started to take a different spin. At at every level, when they put out something and it doesn't work, they add a new dimension to it. And, 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 and keep adding to it when they realize it's not sticking. Mm. And the matter of your aborted pregnancy, you said you did have an operation, but it had to do with No, I didn't no, I didn't have any operation at all. What I what I what I said is that I have been, been struggling with, with fibroids. Yes. Yes. And and so at that point I had a little bulge. Yes. Right, because I was in the gym, and the gym instructor realized that the bulge was still there, and he told me to check for to check to see if it's fibers, because sometimes when you have that lower bulge, it's it, it's fibers. Yes, you know. So I've been doing my my treatments for it. So that mm -hmm. is when I, I guess that is when one one member of the opposition ran the joke. I don't know if it's a joke or deliberate mm -hmm. to say, "Boy, it looks like Rhoda pregnant," and then it got out there to bloggers that I was pregnant, yes. and and then. When 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 I you know share the concern to some of my colleagues on both sides, they say, "Rhoda, leave it alone. That's stupidness." Mm -hmm. And I said to them, "No, it's not stupidness. They're saying, um, if you are pregnant, a baby will emerge in nine months.'" And I said to them, "But but if a baby doesn't emerge, they're going to come up with something else. They're going to say, oh, she must have aborted the child.' And and here we are today." Yes. And uh, how has this affected? your communication, your relationship with Mrs. Holness? Well, I, I don't, Mrs. Holness, we, we, everyone is just, you know, generally just cordial, but I don't, I don't, I don't have that. There's no warmth. There's no warmth like you would see the interactions with the other young female members of parliament. So it's affected it? I think so. I would say so. Oh, the relationship is cold. Is it? Sorry, I didn't hear you. The relationship is cold. Yes, I would say so. I'm not just I'm not just with, with, with Mrs. Holness as I would have expressed. Yes. I can detect from some um parliamentarians too. It's yes. almost as if they have, they they believe or I don't I shouldn't say they believe. But they are probably not sure, and so you know they want to be cautious and careful. Yes, yes. And how how is this impacting your relationship? Are you in a relationship that it's impacting? Yes, and I, I'm in a relationship, and and my partner every time that that he sees these things, I mean, it it, it the relationship takes a batter and there's a strain on the relationship as we speak. Oh. Oh. Wow. Rhoda Moy Crawford, I can only commiserate and encourage you to keep at the job of being Member of Parliament and also please complete the PhD. Yes, I need to. I need to. Um, I've not been able to do a lot of work on the on the on the thesis on the PhD because I mean, if, if you really want to serve and serve well, you know, this is a full time job. It is. But I mean, I'm putting some contingency in place. But the long and short of it, Cliff, I don't want the greater message to be lost in what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, we, in our pursuit for political power, we need to be kinder to each other. Um, we need to consider that, I mean, even though we are public servants, we have feelings too. We, we, we have family. We have people who love us and care for us. And, you know, these things can affect us too. Not because we know what we've signed up for and we have a strong back. And I still want to encourage other young persons. Because, Cliff, this is not just limited to politics. It's everywhere. Once a woman climbs up on the corporate ladder, the, the, the argument is always who is she sleeping with. Yeah. And we need to move away from that culture. And I wouldn't want another young person because on a daily basis, Cliff, I could read a message I just got from a young girl yesterday who saw me on, on the screen in Parliament sitting behind, behind Daryl, and she said, 
my MP, I'm watching you. I'm so proud of you. You're my idol. You're my role model. And please, I wouldn't want other little girls who are looking on to, to be deterred by, by, by what they're seeing. And I, and I don't want the people or the country to suffer when good politicians, people with good intentions, just pack up their bags and walk away from this. I don't think it is fair because all of us involved in this room have taken a hit. I am sure Mrs. Holness has taken a hit. I'm sure the Prime Minister himself has taken a hit. Yeah. Right? And, and it's not fair and it's not kind. Rhoda Moy you Crawford. can't just get up and you know what bothers me the most, Cliff? People who don't know. People, they just see somebody say something and they run with it and they retweet and they reshare with no consideration. Is this true? Mm. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But, Cliff, it's, it's the age that we're in. Yes. It's the age that we're in. But I can assure you that I will be fighting on and I will emerge even stronger. And the people of Manchester Central can be assured that I will continue to deliver excellent representation for as long as they continue to put their confidence in me by way of casting their votes. 